yeah so we had finished discussing about the pipeline register sizes of ifid and uh, idex register now let us move forward to the next type okay so in this we have uh, ex mem register so the ex mem register stores first the alu result of the execute stage that reads operands and opcode from the idx register and performs operations specified by the opcode so the alu result could be one of the three cases first it could be a 4 byte value computed by the alu or it could be a 4 byte value representing the calculated effective address of the memory load store or it could be a 4 byte value representing the branch target address in case of branching based instructions therefore you need a single 4 byte value field in the x mem for address result which is therefore amounting to 32 bits the second is one bit condition in case it's a conditional branch we will have to set the zero flag bit so it could be either one or a zero so we need to store that information in case it's a bq or b any information to to store the value of the flag or flag bit the third is the PC to hold the new PC value. So that is again 32 bits in case the B, B any BQ is in consideration. The fourth is for stored instructions. We need four bytes to hold the value to be stored. Okay. So therefore we need 32 bits for stored instructions. And finally we need the destination regist uh, register number which is five bits because uh, we need to know where we are actually uh, putting the, the value of the loaded memory uh, into the register so the destination register uh, RT or RD has to be 5 bits so in totality A plus B plus C plus D plus E gives you uh, total size of 102 bits so therefore X mem register or X mem pipeline register uh, is of total size 102 bits now let us move to the fourth one in the mem wb register the pc value again has to be stored so it's 32 bits the alu result has to be stored so it's 32 bits okay uh, then uh, you know you need to have the read data from the data memory okay that is again 32 bits and the destination register number again is 5 bits so that is uh, amounting to a total of 101 bits for mem wb register Now let us move to uh, the topic of how to control or how to manage the control hazards that are present in the pipeline register of MIPS architecture. There are three solutions. The first solution is to wait. Wait until the pipeline determines the outcome of the branch because the branching process has to compute the equality test between the two registers followed by final, uh, finding the effective target address using the ALU and the uh, other things that are required. So this thing will take time therefore one option is to wait until the pipeline determines the outcome of the branch although this will slow down the pipeline and affect the performance but at least one of the good things is it will not require any flushing of instruction later uh, okay because instructions uh, are needed to be flushed in case you go for any guesswork okay which happens usually in the second case so the second solution is assuming branches are not taken so you, this will uh, go ahead with the instruction flow assuming that the branch will not happen and this will not slow down the pipeline but if the if the assumption is wrong then it will definitely uh, need to be a problem because you need to flush the instructions because of this uh, uh, wrong assumption the third is the dy dynamic branch prediction here what happens is you maintain a history table which is nothing but a small memory that contains information of all the recently taken branches so whatever has happened in the past the history of that is maintained in a in a table and based on the behavior that you have seen in the past it will make a dynamic prediction of the current branching whether it should be taken or it should not be taken okay so these are the three uh, possible solutions to address control hazards so in this lecture you've learned about control hazards you've learned about uh, data hazards structural hazard and how to handle them you've also learned about the different pipeline registers and how to uh, you know uh, represent them and what information does it contain and so on in the next lecture we will be talking more about pipelining data path and we'll also talk about another unit known as hdu that functions basically to at the hardware level to find out how we can detect data hazard and so on okay thank you so much